Hi folks, it's Sid here from Border Archery. Um, I'd like to do a quick video on stored energy and how to calculate stored energy. Okay, so first off, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and explain what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're trying to work out this area in here. Okay, so that's the area inside the Bose Energy. And what it will be is at 8 inches, okay, you'll have no pounds. At 9 inches, you'll have, say, 5 pounds. Then you'll have, and it will keep going all the way up till you get to 40, okay, for example. So you'll have 40 pounds, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a straight line... Um, graph, right, to try and explain the relationship, okay? So this is going to work on the principle of a bow that does 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, etc. till it gets to 40, all right? So as you pull the bow back, you'll get £2, £4, £6, £8, Ten pounds, twelve pounds, all the way down to twenty-eight. Okay. Now, if you add up this information, you will end up with four hundred and twenty inch pounds of energy. Okay. Now, here's the trick. Here's the problem. If you look at the area of a right angle triangle of 20 by 40, that's 28 inches to an eight inch bracing height, okay? And, well, you divide it by two, you end up with 400 inch pounds of energy, okay? So 400 inch pounds, 420 inch pounds for what is the same graph. Now, what's the difference and why does that happen? Okay, let's see if we can cover this one. What I'll do is I'll move you down a little. So, what happens is you have a bar chart. Okay, so you've got um, inch one, inch two, inch three, okay? So at inch one, you have two pounds of energy, right? Inch two, you have four pounds of energy, and inch three, you have six pounds. So two, four, six. Now, if you look at this, effectively what you've got is a graph that draws a line through here. So this piece is too much, this piece is too much, and this piece is too much. Okay? So that's why <clears throat> when you add up the numbers, you end up with 420 and not 400. The other way to look at this is rather than the numbers being there, they're actually in the middle. Okay, so that's one, that's two, that's three. A different representation of the same graph. That means the line actually goes up through um, the, the middle of the graph line. Okay, so it'll go through, um, it'll go through there. Which means when you get to the very, very last value, okay, 28 inches in this case, right? This piece is extra because this one will cancel this one, this one cancels this one, this one cancels this one, but it's the end one that's too much. Okay? Now, none of these are perfect. Okay? None of these scenarios are exactly what's happening. But they're very, very close. Now, the real trick, right, and it is a trick, 
it's a quick fix to a complicated problem, but it takes you to very accurate numbers, right? The very accurate kind of answers um, to decimal places of accuracy, stuff where extra effort doesn't deliver more result, is if you look, £40 is half, so it's twice as much as the error. So back over here, if you take this last one and just divide it by two, you end up with the answer. Okay, so 400 inch pounds, 420 inch pounds, half of 40 is 20. So if you either, whichever way you want to look at it, half full, half empty, you either do not add the 28 inch draw weight, you only add half of the 28 inch draw weight, or you take half of 28 off once you've added it on, whichever way, right? That takes you to 400. Okay, so 400 inch pounds divided by 12 inches to the foot will give you your foot pounds of energy in the bowl. So if you wanted to do a stored energy graph, which is a cool graph, right? what you can do is at the first inch of two pounds, you only put on the half of the last measurement. At the second inch, you'd have the two pounds plus half of the four pounds. At the third inch, you'd have the two pounds plus the four pounds plus half of that. Then it'd be plus, 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 half, plus, 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 half. You see what I mean? So you only add on half of the last inch of whichever inch you're at. It just so happens the standard's done at 28. Yeah? The other cool graph is you divide the stored energy, the 400 pounds, by the 28 weights. That would be 400 divided by 40. Gives you your stored energy per pound held. And that is the groovy number that I keep uh, quoting. That's the energy density of the bow. Okay? So, that's what you're trying to achieve. That's the problem with it. And that's how you solve it. Okay? Right, there's plenty of boyers out there don't know this stuff. So I'm putting it out there so that we can all compare how our designs are working. I'm not shy of my designs. I have been challenged, but my numbers are not correct. It turns out that the um, boyer in question wasn't calculating his numbers correctly but he challenged me in a facebook video um challenge away i'm good for the uh, i'm good for the challenge okay questions below thanks for watching